Okay, so they've got a few problems going on here. The boiler was fairly recently installed. And we actually gave them an estimate, but they went with uh, Sears, and I'll show you. Okay, so Peter is disconnecting the gas right now, but we are here to replace the inducer fan assembly, which has failed on this Burnham Alpine. I've replaced a few of these fans already, but it's what it is. They seem to be good machines otherwise. We're doing a few other things like this temperature sensor, which this old sensor that has that Molex plug always go, goes bad. Um, the fluid temperature sensor and cap, which goes right in there, right in the center of the screen. Expansion tank, which has already been drained out uh, and removed. There's a nice isolation valve there. And we're going to do uh, a long uh, um, uh, black nipple, half inch, and a 90. And then we're going to connect the new expansion tank on that. So if you want to grab that, Peter, a long black nipple and a 90. Three yeah. And if you also want to grab the... Actually, I'm going to come out with you, but yeah, so we're doing a full maintenance on it as well, aside from just replacing the motor, uh, which I've shown before, but we'll be taking this uh, completely apart and then cleaning out, putting it all back together, replacing anything as needed. And here's our Alpine service kit. Uh, you can actually buy this from Burnham. Um, it's nice. It has some compartments with some gaskets and things like that. And normally this sits right here, but I just took it out because I had to put a few things in here that are restocked. But here's the fluid temperature sensor cap uh, and grease. But we will be replacing the sensor itself as well. Um, let's see if I have one fluid temp sensor cap only. So they give you a lot of stuff. And whenever we maintenance these, we have all the parts that we would commonly need. So surprisingly, it's really not too bad at all, but uh, that's just what's visible. I have to get in between all these tubes. Uh, igniter and flame sensor were pretty bad. Peter's gonna clean those up. He got that piece in and he is working on getting some spade connectors for the temperature sensor because the ones that were there were broken. So I'm going to get to cleaning this up and that as well and putting our new fan on. Okay, so Mike had been here for most of it and he recorded a lot, but you can see we repositioned that expansion tank because uh, this is how they want it installed. That way it doesn't go bad in, as fast. Uh, we switched out that air vent, which clearly had been leaking for forever. Uh, got our valves labeled. We've got that temperature sensor swapped out and new connections with a new gasket. Uh, temperature sensor in here as well. But, uh, it's running. Did our low fire and our high fire combustion analysis. And we're good to go. This is not wired in. It's probably broken, but it is what it is. Okay, so me and Peter are here at this service call. Peter ran to get me a few things. They just had the floors we on in this room, and our radiator is not level, but that's not the main issue. The main issue is we're leaking water. And watch. It was finger loose. So I'm going to put some pipe dope on it. Uh, I'm going to make sure the mating surface is nice and clean. And then we will... Uh, tighten it up nicely with a pipe wrench. Make sure it's nice and tight. Put pipe tope so that I can get more of a turn out of it when it's as tight as I can make it and so that it doesn't seize in the future. So if you look at it, I just disconnected it. Made sure that my surface is nice and clean, which it is. So just to kind of be safe, I'm going to put a little bit of piped up on the mating surface 
very, very small amount. Um, to me, it just seems like that gives it more of a chance to seal. Maybe I uh, am wrong in that, but just to uh, try to make my life a little bit easier. And then I'm going to lightly put it on, on the threads. I'll clean up the mess after. And they are getting radiator covers. So we're going to try to shim the uh, radiator up a little bit. You can see this pipe, how it wants to be up higher than it is. I don't know what's directly below, but I'd imagine we might be trapping water in like a pipe underneath, possibly. So, move it in place. And it lines up pretty nicely. And I'm gonna get my first couple of turns out of it with my big nipex. See, I also had it temporarily on crescent wrenches to give it pitch, that way any water would drain out of it before I started working on it. But uh, now we gotta figure out what we can use to shim this while the boiler heats up and we wait for the steam to make it here. I have a feeling this is probably gonna be leaking too. I just stopped outside to run and grab something, but these people got here when I did. I've been here for maybe 10 minutes. They have this much of the tree cut down already. It's crazy how fast they're working. And while the boiler heats up, I just went outside and I cut some shims. Uh, same sizes, except for the ends are thicker. We'll see how this works. If I need to cut them down, I can cut them down a little bit. But I always keep wood in the van, so I had that. Okay, I lifted it up while Peter got those blocks underneath. Let's see. Thicker here, and thinner there, and you can see we got nice pitch, a little bit higher on this side than that side so that the water can run down and the steam can come past it. Okay, so if you look closely at it, you might not be able to see it anymore, but it looked like the pipe dope was like boiling. So I don't know if the pipe dope's actually like bubbling or if it's leaking steam. So I'm going to spray some soapy bubbles on and see if we get any bubbles forming from any air making its way out. Okay, so we did spray it with bubbles, which were just boiling off, but our radiator is nice and nice and hot and there's no steam coming out of the fitting. So there's also no water dripping anywhere on the bottom of it. So I'm pretty confident that we're good here. Okay, so they've got a few problems going on here. The boiler was fairly recently installed. And we actually gave them an estimate, but they went with uh, Sears and I'll show you. So I just wanted to get the flash on for better video, but we got a mess of wiring here, which that's fine. It's whatever. The uh, pressure control was set all the way up max pressure, same for the emergency one. Uh, I talked with her before I changed anything and I did lower the regular pressure control with no result. I made sure the pigtail's not clogged, which it's not. And just to make sure that this wiring is legit, I did disconnect the wire going to the pigtail and the boiler did shut off. So we know that this pressure control is not working, but because it's fairly recently installed and she has a service contract with the installers, She's going to call them out for the boiler issue. And I just got a service agreement sheet. Let's see if maybe after they make the repairs to the boiler, she'll switch over to us. But uh, she seems to like the service we're providing. 
So that's it. I wish I could have done everything, gotten everything done, but it is what it is. She was uh, super happy. She uh, asked if uh, we're allowed to take tips. And I was like, we are, but you don't have to do that. Uh, we didn't we didn't fix everything. We just resolved the immediate issue. And she was like, oh, wow, that's so nice. Maybe I will have to call you guys again. So hopefully we get her as a customer. Uh, it's a very nice house. They just redid like everything. And uh, it's in St. Albans. But that's gonna be it. I uh, kinda didn't really know what to record today. Just wanted to get a video out. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, like the video comment any advice or criticisms or feedback or anything that you would have done differently i probably should have taken a look at the pressure troll to begin with but regardless her air vent was bad and the union that union at the valve was just loose so whether the pressure was high or not it still would have been leaking at the valve so it is what it is thanks for watching uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe.